you knew. I've got a bit of sunburn from fixing the frame on a Tacoma recently, but I'm excited. I got a box. It's the radiator for the Model A, and I got it. Aha. So. <laughs> Side for it. It's got the right outlet and inlet for a Chevy 350 283 for what we're actually using. Small block Chevy. And it's four inches shorter than the factory low tiny that should allow it to wear a windy channel pipe to the bottom side of the frame. Everything will look amazing and I'll be able to cover up the crux member mount for the front leaf spring. It's going to look amazing, at least as long as this is the correct one. <laughs> I'm just really excited because I've been this for a while and it's from all those RCs that have been selling and just building up that I was able to like, afford to get this thing from PayPal and all that fun stuff. Oh. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this for months, but I had too much else going on to really have the time to either find one that was a correct radiator for this, and even just find like one that had a correct So this is, I believe, a three-core radiator, and it will be made to fit into that radiator shell. The only difference is I plan to keep that radiator shell stocked without having to shorten it at all, and allow the underside of the shell to actually cover up the cross member while this, this is just a correct height to match everything now. So, that just cutting kind of everything open and getting everything unboxed. I'm just really excited to get this set on the frame. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. for the radiator shell and everything. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. Alright, I'm excited still. So. <laughs> oh, looks like the holes are a little bit off, but that's to be expected with something that's almost 100 years old. That's it. Alright, we got that here. Look at that! It's awesome! Now we return to our weekly programming of how to pull a Model A radiator shell. Yay! Ah! One eternity later. Yes! That's actually kind of heavy. Yes! for it. Make some little, I'll, I'll cut in a little bit, but I'm going to make some little shrouds to fit around the radiator to like just make it all match better. This 
is every bit as exciting and awesome as I was hoping it to be. I got a little box in the way. I can actually make my surround actually just cover up the gaps in between this radiator shell. I still need to channel the radiator itself down four inches. I may not actually shorten the, sh the shell itself completely four inches to match with channeling the body, as I do want to have part of this lower balance cover up the U-bolts for the actual main leaf of this, just to make it look a little cleaner. And going from that, I'm just really excited. I just, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm going to see you guys next time and we'll move forward with the next bit of just boxing the frame soon and just goof around with the rear main leaf a few more times and do A3.